They were the ones that lied from A to Z about everything about coronavirus. They lied about the death toll. They lied about how they were doing the testing. Uh, they lied and counted people that died of gunshot wounds and car wrecks. And the same frauds that then own the patents on the very vaccines they're trying to force us to take with incredible conflicts of interest come out now and tell us that the whole world is collapsing in a planetary reset not because they created all this fiat currency, not because they stole trillions of dollars, not because they created this huge bubble, but because of coronavirus. And I said six months ago, and so did our reporter Greg Reese, we'll play his report in a moment, that this was part of the great global reset that Davos and others have been calling for. That way the establishment doesn't get the blame for the collapse of civilization that they've engineered that they'll use to consolidate power. No. That way they blame it on COVID-19. And that's exactly what the Rockefeller Foundation talked about a decade ago. It's what Bill and Melinda Gates talked about last year, using a global pandemic or the fear of a pandemic to bring in absolute and total control with a police state and a surveillance tech grid with the contact tracers over the organized collapse. And so the people would accept having a permanent loss in their standard of living to lower their carbon. Well, now they've come out and admitted that. Michelle Obama has said COVID is going to help us re-engineer the world and redistribute wealth. And CNN and the New York Times have said this is good for the earth. It's lowering our carbon footprint. But the richest people in the world are leftist and communist and socialist who fly around in jumbo jets and make billions of dollars a year. Because communism is set up by the elites to enslave and domesticate those at the bottom every single time. It's a way to con people back into serfdom and back into slavery. So the worldwide collapse that we are accelerating into right now has been a hundred percent engineered and authored and implemented by the globalist to bring in world government to put the united nations who in charge and now we see videos all over europe and all over the u.s and the uk australia where there'll be a woman not wearing a mask in a store and people walk up and say you can't be here without a mask the who says and the woman's like, but local law says if I have asthma or something, I don't have to wear it. He says, I don't care. The UN says, get out of here. So you wake up and you're under the United Nations. And it brings in the cashless society. They're refusing cash everywhere. And it allows them to surveil us and track us and control us with the Clinton Global Initiative running the worldwide tracking program that the taxpayer money by the billions is then forked over to them to make money while they track and trace and control our lives. Big tech was always set up to destroy the freedom of the web and to consolidate power and to censor. And now that they've silenced almost everyone off the internet, they're moving forward now to silence hundreds of prominent doctors, virologists, epidemiologists, and other scientists that are exposing that the entire COVID-19 story is a lie. And now they're talking about arresting people that question Fauci and the United Nations. We've gone off the edge of the cliff into high-tech modern tyranny. And only being honest about it is going to stop it. Now the United States is seeing food prices massively spike because if there's a positive at a farm of COVID-19, they shut it down for a few weeks. If there's a positive at a warehouse, they shut it down for a few weeks. Even if people are asymptomatic in almost every case and not sick, China's been open for business the entire time. Only the United States is still locked down. Only the United States is told we're the bad guys because we've done a hundred times the testing of anybody else. And the tests again are almost all false positive. They were designed to be. This was cooked up in modern globalist warfare circles to bring down the nation state and bring down America and punish us for electing President Trump. And President Trump has dropped the ball stopping the coordinated racketeering of big tech and the silencing of the medical community in America. And President Trump has dropped the ball on really coming out and exposing that the Democrats actually work with the chi and the globalists and are actual enemies of the republic that don't think the country should even exist. We are under an existential threat to destroy our very existence. There's a letter that General Flynn put out yesterday that lays this out, where he explains this is a spiritual war to bring down the United States and that this is clearly Satanism using communism as its template with powerful billionaires orchestrating and running the entire operation. This is the authoritarian fall of the United States. And the slaves that are begging for it, believing they will be empowered, will wake up even more enslaved than they were before. The United States is sliding rapidly into Venezuela. Venezuela has more wealth per capita than the United States. Raw oil and timber and gold and jewels and infrastructure. And they were the richest country in South America until communism came to them. And now they have already long since eaten their dogs and cats. Thousands die a week from starvation. And that's where 
the United States is going because the globalists want to collapse us. They want to break us. And they're starting with the blue cities and blue states, creating artificial depressions, putting out the fentanyl, advertising that you can be homeless and live on the street to destroy confidence and to collapse the entire United States. That's why they're wrecking things by design. That's why they're saying overthrow the police. That's why they're saying blow up the police stations officially in the city of Austin budget because they are overthrowing America. They are engaged in a takeover. In closing, I'll tell listeners this and viewers. This is the most critical time in human history, not just U.S. history. 80 days out from the election, you need to share the articles and the videos from Man.Video and NewsWars.com and InfoWars.com like your very life depends on it because it does, ladies and gentlemen. It does. And it is so important now when people are so hungry and when everybody else is being silenced to know that hundreds of doctors and others that have been silenced are all in the banned video section of Band Out Video where you can see them. And many of them have millions of views, but they need to have tens of millions of views. And also, you need to support InfoWars so we can pay for the bandwidth. Buy a t-shirt, buy a book, buy a film, uh, buy a privacy pocket at InfoWarsStore.com and help yourself and help us because it takes money to fight this war. But whatever you do, pray for us and keep spreading the word and sharing the links because we are really hurting the globalist and we're about 50-50 right now at the brink, sudden death over time in the Super Bowl for humanity's future. And again, we have storable food right now with three to four week delivery, highest quality in stock, the best packaging, last 25 years at InfoWarsStore.com, powered by my Patreon. And I'm telling you, the way the world's going, whether Trump gets elected or not, things are just going to get crazier. You need to have storable food for the future so that you're not dependent on the system when things collapse and when inflation comes in because of what's unfolding. And if there's a successful plunge in the dollar, this country's going to look like Venezuela in six months. It won't take five years like Venezuela at that point. So I would suggest everyone go to InfoWarsStore.com and get a three-month, a six-month, a year supply. And, and, and hide that food and know it's got the best packaging and the highest quality and it lasts 25 years because you need firearms, you need to know how to use them, you need water filtration, air filtration, you need storable food. We have everything but the firearms at InfoWarsStore.com. We have other survival accessories. All I'm just saying is get ready and get serious and talk to your neighborhood, talk to your neighbors, talk to your family and have an emergency plan. None of us have a perfect emergency plan, but we've got to start looking at that. I've been so focused on fighting the globalist offensively, I've never even gotten ready for my own personal self follow my own advice. Things have gotten so serious, I bought a little piece of land about 30 miles, 35 miles outside Austin, and I'm putting in the well, and I put in the trailer, and I'm you know getting it ready in case things totally collapse, ladies and gentlemen, so I can basically evacuate if the power goes off. I mean, the, the New World Order, just like Larry Grafwald exposed, really plans to implode everything and end this country forever. Okay, they really plan to collapse things, turn off the food, turn off the water, and make you come and sue for peace and get on your knees and turn in your guns and, and take your implantable chip that Gates is proposing and take your forced inoculation and carry your little Obama phone, you know, 2.0 that tracks what you do. I mean, it's here. This is the dystopia. They've been preparing for it for decades. It's now collapsing into us. This is it. So get ready and get prepared. And just remember that. People are already having to sell their children to slavery all over the world just to be able to feed their other children. Okay, you have to decide what child to sell into sex slavery. That's in the news. It will become like that overnight here as well, and it's so sad. It's so disgusting. And again, I'm just begging people to realize we're not in Kansas anymore. We're not in a normal situation anymore. We're fighting existentially for our very existence. That's why they're causing race war to divide everybody. It's why they're causing economic war. It's why they're causing this total lockdown because we are under new world order attack. And if American people aren't strong enough to admit that to themselves, Trump won't be strong enough to tell us the truth and really do what needs to be done. But this is it. Pray to God for guidance. God bless and good luck. The most banned network in the world. It is very important that InfoWars and yours truly, Alex Jones, not get credit for being right. Because when people continue to believe that I magically know what's coming next, and I'm a prophet, we lose. That's not what's happening. If I read the newspaper and it tells me that William Shatner is coming to town, and I can buy tickets in a month to go see him. I'm not a prophet for knowing William Shatner is gonna show up on a certain date. 
like the time 15 years ago I saw it in the paper and bought tickets for my wife and I. I read it in the paper. I knew William Shatner was coming. I paid my hundred bucks. I went and saw William Shatner. The reason we know the whole COVID thing is staged is the Rockefeller Foundation. I'm getting chills. In 2010 and then the Bill Gates Foundation in 2019 war gamed and drilled two events out of more than a hundred that I don't have time to mention here. Lockstep in 2010, <coughs> event 201 in 2019. And in it, they laid out how there'll be a global pandemic, it'll bring in global government, the WHO will be made the authority of the planet, and then they will have contact tracing everywhere with a global bureaucracy that trains us to accept their control and that we would then have apps on our phones that track us in real time and control social distancing and that then will control whether we can fly or then have a job or go to a store or leave our houses. And they talk about how it's a global authoritarianism, but how it's good for us and how they're going to put the pressure on, then release it, put the pressure on, release it, put the pressure, but still tighten down each time. So that's how I told you six, seven months ago when this started, they'll tighten down, they'll release, they'll tighten down even more, they'll release. And now that's what they're doing because it's all war gamed out. It's all a program. It's an agenda. And they are using tests that even the New York Times reported back in 2007 and 2010 with headlines like the pandemic that wasn't, that these type of tests for the flu and for coronavirus are almost always false positive because if you have any of the detritus of already having an infection in the last decade or so of the flu or of corona, you're gonna show that you're positive. So again, they admit it's all fraud. They admit it's all a scam. It wasn't 2.5 million or 2.2 million that died. It's 150,000 and almost all of those are people that died of other things. But still we're told, sorry, we're gonna turn your water and your power off in California if you have a party. Oh, sorry, CNN says, just like we wear seatbelts, America will submit to wearing masks at all times, including in your house. This is a dystopia. We talk about Islam making women wear things over their mask as an act of power and domination. That's all this is. And Fauci says it's about training you to submit to science. Except he's been wrong. He's lied about everything he said at every point and every level. And he said with Bill and Melinda Gates at the UN level, at the WHO, who is in control and who is running the entire show. They create the directives those directives come down to us and then they have corporations and blue cities and blue states implement it regardless of what the federal government does and when the feds don't do everything they want they say oh you've caused the death and again all of that based on fraud and then Fauci throws the opening pitch at a major league baseball game and throws it way into left field the worst you've ever seen and they even praise that because criticism of him is illegal when Trump tweets out the truth about hydroxychloroquine or anything else, they ban the president now because Fauci and the UN are our gods. About a week ago, Gateway Pundit reported on a public operation between the federal government and Yale, testing 15 different systems to brainwash you and make you submit. But they've already found in the study the best way is shaming you and saying you're gonna make other people sick if you don't wear the mask. And they also talk about telling you that you're a hero when you wear the mask and other things to manipulate you. And again, it's all based on fraud. The M95 mask only protects air coming in, not out. It's totally unfiltered, but that's a fraud to begin with. Top scientists in Holland and Sweden have come out and said it's a total fraud. It doesn't protect people. Again, it's an act of submission preparing you for the global social credit score that they're gonna use that's tied to this new medical ID app that's already on all the droids and all the iPhones, and the two companies are working together to bring forward this system and force you onto it. Already, Virginia, California, and other states are taking the federal dollars that Congress has given them and putting out apps that they're making government employees and big corporate employees all use to monitor their distance from others and to monitor who they've been around so they can then be made suspect when somebody has a false positive COVID test. They also follow the NIH and UN directive in Virginia and even Texas, now it's the majority of states, that if one person has COVID-19, one person tests positive, most of the time false, 
15 around them are then told they have it. That's why people have never been in a clinic or never been tested or being told they have COVID-19. And again, the fraud is all admitted. They call it a metric or a formulae. What it is, is smoke and mirrors and a lie. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have to speak out against this. We have to say no to this and we have to become conscious of it and warn others. But there's a very exciting phenomenon taking place right now. Denise Richards and all these other so-called Hollywood stars are now tweeting and Facebooking about how they use Faraday cage pouches to put around their phones so they can't be tracked by the government, by contact tracers, uh, and of course by stalkers, by hackers, you name it. And a lot of the general public is getting really excited. We've been selling privacy pockets for more than 10 years, little Faraday cages that you put your phone in and then the cell towers can't ping it and you can't be tracked. It's just a good basic thing to do to protect your privacy, but also to train yourself to realize that this phone is a Trojan horse of the globalist. It has a lot of good uses, but it is a system designed to track, control, and trace us and bring in the global social credit score that's already been wargamed in China. We normally sold a couple hundred of these a month. We're selling a thousand a day of these on average because people really get it and they're wanting to educate others. They're buying usually three or four of them to give to friends and family and then educating people about this. So the public is really awake right now. They understand what's happening. This is just a stopgap measure. We need Congress to pass laws to outlaw this tracking, involuntary tracking, and we need to educate the public more about what's happening so that we can stop this system. This is how the global corporate has planned to take full control of the planet and micromanage every facet of our lives and shut down all small businesses and farms and infrastructure they don't control. That's the admitted plan of this vertical integration. So research more of these facts at band.video. Go to InfoWarsStore.com and get your privacy pocket in one of four different great colors and start spreading the word. It's a great way to open up conversations when somebody asks, why do you put your phone in that pouch? You can explain it to them. This is how we override the censorship. This is how we, with human intelligence, communicate person to person and bring back a pro-human future against this globalist AI takeover. I'm Alex Jones, and you have been warned. InfoWars, the most banned network in the world.